You're listening to Talk the Bible, where we relate the Bible to current issues, because the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Hello, welcome to Talk the Bible. Austin is my name. The Bible says that there's nothing new under the sun, which means everything that we are seeing today are not strange to this earth. Everything that are happening today are not new to this earth. Talking about everything, the Bible said that we are not wrestle against, it said for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the ruler of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Christian, listen to me. We wrestle every day. Look at our society. There is a war against you and I. Not because of you, not because of me. Because of the one that we identify ourselves with. The battle is between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And you belong to the kingdom of light. And that's why the kingdom of darkness is trying to destroy you. Not because of you, because of what you belong or who you belong to. Light and darkness never agree. We are the children of light. And that's why the world is fighting against you. Paul understand that we as a Christian, the very moment you become a Christian, you are at war. That's why he wrote this very passage to remind us, to prepare us, that we should be prepared to fight. And the fight, or the fight is not against flesh and blood. What I mean is it's not emotional fight. Because you are not fighting against a person, but against principality. Principality is a spiritual authority that, that are in charge of territory, that are in charge of community, neighborhood. That's called principality. They are in charge. What that means is they take hold of that environment the rule and that environment that is what you are fighting against against power power against the ruler of darkness of this world the world that you are living there is a ruler of darkness that you are fighting against and let and, and remember as i say not because not because you go to school it's because you have identified yourself with Christ. And they are looking for a way to pull you down. Because light and darkness never agree. Against wickedness, spiritual wickedness. Everything that you are seeing, all the evil that you are seeing, come from spiritual wickedness. Gone control, all those things, killing, violent, does not come from anyone else but from spiritual wickedness there is a spiritual wickedness that have taken over our nation that have that have influenced our brothers and our sister and used them to cause violence to cause destruction and that is what you are fighting against we are called to fight we are called to resist the devil christian listen to me i know that some of you all you heard the pastor say is the love of God. We are not in position to stand against anybody. We are in position. All we, are, all we need to do is to love and love. There are times that you fight. That's why Jesus Christ said, Whatever you bind here on earth, the heaven shall bind. bind. Whatever you lose here on earth, the heaven shall lose. Whatever you declare and decree on earth, the heaven shall establish. That is not love. 
When you burn something, that means you tie something down. When you lose something, that means you are you are taking authority. When you declare, that means you are taking authority. You are take, you are in charge. When you decree, that means you are you are you are proclaiming something. That is what we are called to do. We have been placed over this nation to represent the kingdom of the light, the kingdom of God. We are called to represent the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light. We are soldiers of Christ. We are to wrestle against principality, against powers, against ruler of darkness. They have taken over our society. They have taken over our political offices. They have taken over our school. They are molesting our children. They are bombarding our children with all kinds of lies. They are enslaving our children, our brothers, our sisters. We are called to fight against them. Listen to me. This is not an emotional fight. This, you are not fighting against man. This is not a fight that you carry a placard and go stand in front of White House or in the front, in the front of a Supreme Court. This is not to carry gun, but it's a fight. It's a warfare against the kingdom of darkness that have taken over our nation. It is time to rise up. This fight is a fight that you fight through prayer through fasting, through intercessory, through spiritual warfare. I know that when you talk about that, Christians don't understand. The Bible says whatever you declare and decree on earth, the heaven will establish. The heaven is waiting on us to declare. So I am calling on you. You are being placed wherever you are. On your street, God put you there to take possession of that street. It is your position to kick out that principality in that place. If you in your in your neighborhood, God placed you there to be in charge. You are the light over there. And because you are the light, darkness cannot have any root over there. But you have to stand to fight them. In, 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 in your community, in your county, in your state, in this nation, it is time for Christians to rise up. This is not time of milk and honey. You know, the Bible says that the house of God is a place of prayer. It's not a place of milk and honey. It's not a place of food. We are tired of this for Christian. It is time. It is time for you to wake up before you've been taken over. Listen to me. It is time to rise up. If you are ready to be part of this, I want you to comment. I want you to write because it is time. This is not about religion. This is not about church. It's about standing for the kingdom that you represent. It is time to say no to the devil. It is time to resist the devil. It is time to stand on the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ. The Bible say that the, that the wicked shall perish in their own wickedness. He said the wicked will run when no one pursues them. He said there shall be no peace for the wicked ones. The evil ones, the evil workers in this nation shall have no peace. They shall run when no one pursues them. It is time to declare and to decree and call down fire upon the wicked one. It is time to take back our land. It is time to take back our school. It is time to take back our market. It is time to take back our, our political political offices. It is time to take back our state. It is time. But it's going to cost you something. Fasting and prayer. If you don't do that, this 2016, this is the last chance. God is waiting on you to call heaven to respond. May the Lord bless you as you take this into heart. And say, I want to be part of this. Please make comment, write, say your mind. I believe in discussion. 
We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.